Jeremy Lin is currently shooting a career high in field goal percentage and a large part of this is due to the frequent pick and roll sets the Hawks run through their two point guards which not only allow for easy shots in the paint but also provides an abundance of assist opportunities which Jeremy has capitalized on this season. In this video, I'm going to break down one of the more common pick and roll schemes the Hawks run with Jeremy. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to call it the handoff pick and roll since the play usually starts from a quick pass and pitch back to the point guard. In this first play, Jeremy passes to Omari Spellman, who immediately passes back to Jeremy and rolls to the wing as a three-point threat. This action freezes Jeremy's defender and Colin Sexton doesn't see the pick set by Deadman. This forces a switch and Jeremy finds Deadman right underneath the basket. A few minutes later, the Hawks run the same play again, and Sexton is caught behind Deadman's pick. Because Omari's defender can't help and leave him open for three, Deadman frees himself up for an easy alley from Jeremy. Same play in the second half of the game, except it's Alex Len instead of Deadman receiving a pass from Jeremy. In this situation, you actually want a reliable three-point shooter on the weak side where DeAndre Bembry currently is standing. In this case, Jeremy forces a pass into Len and it works out anyways, but Kevin Herter replaces Bembry in this spot later on in the season. We see this same play ran against the Grizzlies, except Plumlee isn't known for spotting up at the wing, so instead he cuts toward the basket after handing off to Lynn. In this case, his defender turns his back to the ball, which actually meant that Jeremy could have passed to the rolling Poitras if he wanted to. Instead, he bursts past both defenders for an easy layup. The handoff pick and roll was used multiple times during Jeremy's big game against the Wizards this season when he came alive in the fourth quarter. In this instance, John Wall gets caught up in the pick set by Deadman, and Jeremy is smart enough to feed the mismatch down low despite the bad spacing provided by Bazemore in the paint. On the very next offensive possession, the Hawks run the same play, but this time Wall calls for a switch on the initial action, leaving Jeff Green to guard Jeremy. However, the pick set by Deadman happens so quickly after Green gets switched on to Jeremy, he doesn't have enough time to communicate with Markeith Morris on how to handle the switch. As a result, Deadman actually gets an open cut towards the basket, but Jeremy decides to use his quickness on the slower Morris to find an open layup instead. If the defense elects to go underneath the screen and not switch their big man onto Lin, Jeremy is a good enough shooter to make teams pay, as in this case here against Kemba and the Hornets. This is my favorite handoff pick and roll, which involves all of Atlanta's shooters spreading the floor and preventing any of Indiana's defenders from providing help coverage. Jeremy locks Collison behind him, and Demodis Sabonis is unable to contain both Deadman and Jeremy simultaneously attacking the basket. It's clear the Hawks have put an emphasis on running pick and roll plays with Jeremy in the second unit, and so far it's paid dividends. As Jeremy continues his bounce back season after being sidelined with injuries, look for him to repeatedly pick teams apart with the pick and roll.